Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Thanks for joining me for another beer. Going really local this time, going up to Broadstairs, about three miles just up the road. And it's from By the Mile Brewery. Cracking looking artwork there. I don't know who done it. Uh, this beer is called Keeling's Old Stout, 5% ABV, best before the 3rd of October of 2017. So, let me just show you that. Not long been out of the fridge because it's been quite warm, so all my stouts have gone in the fridge. A nice yellow crown. Let's crack this beer open then, and hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. No. Just done a beer. There's a little bit of smoke, but not not too much. This beer was brewed, so he told me in May. So we're, we're reviewing this on the 23rd of June. 2017, so it's fairly, fairly fresh, low ABV stout. Want to get out of the way quite quickly. Wow, that looks absolutely fantastic. So one thing, a tan-coloured head, not, it, not if very tightly packed bubbles as well. Wow, that's a good sign in my book. Really tightly knit kind of head on this one. Does I say 5% ABV? Yeah. This beer is not even un, on, on listed on untapped, so I haven't checked the other two because I can't be bothered. I'm just going to go in blind. I don't know any hops or malts or anything like that. All I know is a stout from a good mate. He's got a little nano like side project going on. Nano Brewery he's calling it. The brewery is on untapped by the mile out of England. Nano Brewery. Brewing good beer in Broadstairs, Kent. Is it craft? Question mark. Maybe it's real ale? Question mark. I really don't know. It tastes nice. Indeed. Too much politics in the world as it is. When you want to drink a beer, you're not coming into a drinking beer. Come on, go away. Whatever. Oh wow, nice kind of resinous kind of dark fruits, plum, there's a little bit of kind of um, tobacco going on in there. Yeah definitely dark fruits, maybe some dates, raisins, figs, that kind of thing. Very resinous, maybe some... Um, black grapes or something like that. Mm, smells gorgeous. A little bit of coffee going on there. Maybe some uh, maybe some baker's chocolate. Wow. It smells absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to dive in. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers John. Thank you mate. Man, that is smooth. Smooth. Wow. I assume this is a 500ml bottle. I'm pretty sure it is. It doesn't say it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, a fairly fresh beer. Oh, my back's killing me today. Yeah. It's get, it's, look at that lace. When I tilt the beer wow it's got quality written all over it before I even got my nose to it or my or my lips to it it's just you kind of knew obviously being 5% it's a little bit thin but what what it what it lacks in in the kind of mouthfeel which you would expect five percent it more than makes up for it in the actual the flavor of the beer it's got a lot going on in this dark fruits baker's chocolate there's a little bit of kind of tobacco edge to there 
Um, there's a little bit kind of a, not espresso, but maybe a single shot espresso, not a double shot. Mm. It's just it's just really good quality beer. Very smooth mouthfeel. Uh, body is round. It's probably the the upper end of a low body. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just hanging around on the palate. That that real nice kind of creamy mouthfeel. Soft. Um, just a just a cracking cracking beer really. This is a good one, John. Really enjoying this one. I've had this is my fourth beer from this nano brewery. I would probably say that this is probably. Did I say probably? This is almost certainly my favourite beer that I've had so far. I don't know whether that's to do with it's, it, it was brewed in May and now it's June, it's, it's fresh. Or it's just, it's just the beer itself is just fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm ready to give this a rating. There's no scores anywhere. I assume there's no scores on the other. If it's not un, untapped, then it's, it's not going to be anywhere else. So, if you're watching Simon, Simon, my friend, um, Try and get hold of this if you can. I think you'll really enjoy it. And Dan as well. Local. It's a local beer. You, it's unlikely you're going to get this kind of outside of Fanit. So rating then. Um, I think that's. I think that's fantastic. That's an eight out of ten from me. It's a really, really decent, solid um, stout. So. If you're in the East Kent area, um, by the Mile Brewery, check it out. I'll put the links down below. Um, he's got a Twitter page and a Facebook page, I think. Anyway, it'll be down below anyway, the links. Um, so yeah, 8 out of 10 from me. Thanks for watching then. Please check him out. Um, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.